Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today going to be taking a look at the European Truck Racing Championship game that has just come out. A game, well, funny enough, about truck racing, a series that I vaguely knew existed, didn't really know a huge amount about. These are mad vehicles. These are absolutely bonkers vehicles to go racing with. We've seen the, the tank pool Mercedes uh, did turn up in, in Forza. I guess got the Iron Knight now in Forza as well. But, uh, you know, I kind of knew a little bit about them. But th these, are, these are fantastic, different sort of vehicles to have a racing game on. And it's always interesting when something different is, is attempted when it comes to games. We're going to jump into a quick race. So there are two series. You've got the European Truck Racing Series. You've got the World Series as well. Uh, fairly, the, the vehicles drive fairly similarly between the pair of them. There are some slight different sort of body styles. You've got Volvo in the World Series. You don't have that in the, in the European one and so on. Um, but yeah, they, they drive fairly similar. There's all the drivers. Uh, I, I don't know, as I said, I don't know much about the series, but they're all the drivers from the current uh, series. We're going to drive that one. Uh, <laughs> no idea what truck they have. Circuit list isn't actually too bad. The circuits in here, well, you know, Nurburgring, Zolder, you might have seen in some games. Things like Autodrom Most, you don't see very often. I remember from R Factor, but that's about it. A drama is in here. Laguna, of course, is everywhere, but you've got likes of Fuji. You've even got Winton, which I've not seen in a game for a very long time. I don't even, maybe the Toka games might have it. But yeah, it's a cool list of circuits. It's a cool list of circuits. Some familiar ones, some slightly different. Uh, we're going to go to. Let's go to oh, this one. I quite like this circuit. We're going for a five lap race to start off with. Plenty of difficulty settings if you want. I'm driving against uh, the Expert AI. You can only have up to 12 vehicles on a grid. I'd like a little bit more, but that's that. Uh, you can't, so the trucks are limited. This is what they have in the actual series. Uh, the vehicles are limited to 160 kilometers an hour, which I think is about 100 miles an hour. Um, you can turn the speed limiter off. You can either try to turn the speed limiter off and still drive at under 160, or you can turn speeding penalties off as well and just drive as fast as you want. There are also you know, various penalties. You can have uh, penalties for leaving the uh, track, going over the penalty, penalty markers that are around the place, uh, and so on. It, you can set them as and how you like. There is also a setting for weather. Uh, while the trucks, I don't think, drive in the, or race, in, in reality, race in the absolute pouring, pouring rain. Uh, they will race on wet circuits. Uh, they have, I believe they have one tyre for all conditions, so it's not a quick dive in the pits if it starts drizzling and, and get on a wet tyre, you've just got to deal with it. Uh, it's it's always, always nice to have uh, some wet weather running. Uh, we are going to be starting down the back, have a lot of work to do here. Uh, you got some nice cinematics. The game looks pretty good. I have to say, while well, sort of some of the scenery in the distance, perhaps not so much, the actual trucks themselves are all... Uh, very nicely detailed, and uh, the game wants you to drive in cockpit view, which is I say, which is always nice. I would probably recommend driving in cockpit view on this one. It's a fun, it's kind of a little bit more interesting to drive from here. The thing that you will immediately notice is an extra gauge. Now, speedo, rev counter, all of that, we're kind of used to seeing here. What you are not so used to seeing is the water and brake temperature gauge that we have going on. That is. Very important. This is pr probably the most important gauge you will be dealing with when it comes to truck racing because, funnily enough, the brakes are very, very important here. Uh, because, well, there's, I think, there are five tons of truck barreling down towards a corner. When you jump on the brakes, uh, you need to, um, yeah, keep them cool shall we say. They get very hot very quickly and they either stop working you can burn through them. You'll see a little percentage as well that is your brake condition if you like. And if you burn through them before the end, I got in the wrong gear, come out of the first corner I made a complete hash of that, don't worry about me uh, we'll hopefully catch back up yeah, you can lose brakes, basically with this which you do not want in a very very fast 100 mile an hour truck into a chicane that you have at the first corner here is uh, not a place you want to be losing brakes. Do we want Go for a sixth here, possibly, yes. Uh, come on, get those turbos going. Uh, so yeah, braking is something you're going to be really, really worrying about. There is a separate button uh, for basically the water jets that you fire at the brakes to keep them cool. You press, I'm playing on a 360 control at the moment, you press B and that fires the water onto the brakes to try and keep them cool in a braking zone. Uh, very, very important. However, you have limited water. You run out of water, that's it. You're probably not going to be stopping next time you get to a corner. Christ, I didn't realise there was a truck alongside me. That's a bit sketchy. Uh, which can throw in some interesting tactical decisions. While the... Oh, we're going to have a big slide through there. Uh, 
Oh, there's a truck going up the inside, I think. Uh, did it back off? Might have actually backed off in the end. I thought it was about to fire one up the inside, ended up not doing that. Um, yeah, interesting tactical decisions. It does, I believe, vary the what starting water levels to an extent, depending on uh, how you are... How many laps you are doing in the race, sorry. So shorter races, you will get slightly less water. However, if you go for a full full length races, you are going to be pushing it massively on your water supply. You cannot abuse the water every single corner and expect to make it there. So you've got to drive tactically. You've got to think, am I going to be ultra aggressive with the brakes this lap around, knowing I'm going to get them hot, knowing I'm going to have to keep wasting my water, firing my water at them, but I might run out later on. Do you save early on and go fast towards the end? Do you try and mix it up in different places? It's, it's a tactical decision making that you just don't have in any other game. There's nothing... Well, oh, the trucks are crashing into one another. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, we've all probably driven games with tyre wear and, and that kind of thing. When it's, you know, your brakes and you, well, you have a button to kind of help deal with it, you've, you've just a different sort of thinking. The tyre wear's not so much of a thing here. I think the tyres do... I gradually wear a little bit over course, right? But uh, there's, there's a little flashing light that will come up and say tyres are a little bit in a poorly condition. That's not really the concern. Your primary concern here is do not let the brakes cook themselves. Try and find ways to deal with it. That's a very big dive there. I wasn't quite going for that big of a dive. I mean, we have got it done. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's... Yeah, I was in a slightly wonky line on my own there. That wasn't ideal. Uh, we've fought our way. We've got quite actually a lot of a lot of time to try and make up if we want to go chasing after the leads. I really love this circuit. I have to say, this is a really fun circuit to drive. Works really well with the trucks. Uh, there are overtaking spots. It's just a nice track to drive around. So I'm hoping we can make our way forwards. But yeah, brakes are so, are so fundamental on this, which is, you know, accurate. That's, that is one of the defining, I guess, characteristics of this sort of racing is that you're going to have to be dealing with brakes and, and brake temperatures and whatnot. Uh, can we have a sneaky look down here, carry some speed? There we go. That'll be not quite, not quite there, bugger. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's a really interesting, rather different sort of thing that you're having to deal with here. In terms of driving physics, well, these actually drive, I say these drive pretty well. They're big, they're heavy. They feel big and heavy, but the physics does feel good for driving them. Now, I've been playing this, I've been playing this on a controller, I have driven it on a wheel, I'm playing at the moment on a controller because it's easier to record with, um, but I have driven this on a wheel, and overall, yeah, the physics are pretty good. They're big, they're heavy, they take a lot of force to get stopped, they do change direction, uh, you know, they, they are still racing vehicles, they are still designed to go quickly, but it's a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit of work, and you can really get the back end moving with these. You can, if you get the turbo kick in at the wrong point, or you get a gear shift a little wonky, you can get the back end sliding. Again, that's how these trucks drive. That, that is how, when you watch these things going around a circuit, that is what they end up doing. Uh, they are, they're a fun challenge to race, because, as I said, they are, they are very different to a, a normal car racing thing. Now, the, the smoke you see pouring off the vehicles uh, is not the trucks locking up as such. In fact, it's quite difficult to uh, lock the trucks up. You don't really see much in the way of locking going on from these. Uh, that is the, I believe, steam from the brakes. Basically, they're, they're firing water at their brakes to try and keep it cool, and that's the, that's, that's the water burning off of them. Uh, again, while these, the, the trucks in here do tend to do it to a little bit of a crazy extreme, you do see it from the actual trucks as they are uh, wandering around the circuit. It's like the little, the little attention to, to detail that I perhaps wasn't expecting when I saw this game, you know, was a thing I wasn't expecting. I'm very, very grateful for it. Do not get me wrong. I'm very grateful that this is almost like a brake management game. Oh, because that sets it apart from some others. I've overshot that corner terribly. Are we going to get away with this? We're going to have a slide on the curb. Oh, no. Don't go up the inside, please. Uh, we've got a little uh, a little screen on the dashboard with the rear view camera, so we can just about tell when something's going on. We've also helpfully got the little arrows around to notify you. Actually, had a pretty good run so far. We're we're up to fifth, and I'm not doing too badly on the old brakes front. I'm trying to when I haven't got like an it's not an overtaking opportunity, and I haven't got a truck immediately dive bombing behind me. I'm being a little bit careful. In, in a five lap race, I can probably get away with being a bit actually a bit more aggressive. I'm just used to having to try and manage. It's one of the few times as well this because of all the 
truck management or the brake management really that goes on here, I would actually find myself recommending longer races. I am normally a fan of lots of short races. It just tends to be the way I enjoy enjoy games and enjoy driving. But with these, with the brake management being such an important thing, it's not as effective or not as important in the in the sprint races so yeah i would generally find myself recommending perhaps a little longer races i should have gone down to six but never mind uh, the gearbox in these basically you only have four gears that you ever use you have a fifth and sixth low range a seven and eight high range fifth is basically for standing start and standing start only sixth is for the rolling start and potentially a couple of hairpins that's about it seventh and eighth are where you're going to be at uh, with the way these engines deliver their power. Um, it was actually said that these, when these raced at the A1 ring a couple of years ago, they got into eighth and never changed down. That's, uh, <laughs> that was it. That's, that's, that's what they did. So, yeah, the gears are, are a little bit different to what you'll be used to driving. Again, it's just something that uh, you've got to remember. Don't try and downshift one too many. You go into sixth, uh, you'll end up, sp you often end up upsetting the rear end unless you are going very, very slowly. Uh, if you are shifting at, if, especially if you're going from 6th to 7th out of slow corners uh, when you try and go back up the, the box, it is easy to get the back end very, very upset at uh, places. Oh, and it's just around some of these corners here. Quite possible to get the truck sliding. Uh, we will throw you through all of that. Everything's good. Uh, I've got a little light coming on, I think, so the tyres are starting to get a little poorly. Not too bad. I've actually not had much worry about the brakes in this. I've, I've kind of found myself with no man's land. I should probably have been going for a little bit more, try and make up some some time. Uh, we'll go back down to 7th, because I don't think I'm going to be... I'd have to have an absolutely mega final lap here. Uh, we might get you, because you've had a little bit of a running wide incident. Oh. <laughs> Though if you do that, they can sometimes get a good run, and he's got the turbo kick in, helpfully, and off it goes down the straight. The, the limiter, I expected it to annoy the crap out of me. I know that, as I said, I know they do it in real life, but I expect it to be annoying, but it's not really. Only on the longer straights does it really ever affect anything, and the braking as it is, there's still plenty of uh, potential, plenty of opportunities to uh, find ways past. Uh, AIs themselves, actually, really good. I have had some really properly good battles against the AI. They will defend, uh, when you are trying to overtake, they will uh, try and attack you. They will generally give you space as well, which is always the difficult bit. How do you get the AIs, how do you balance the AIs to give the player space enough to race, but not so much that you can just scare them out of every single position? And this treads a fine line, but it, it does a pretty damn good job. If anything, they might be a, like, a, a touch uh, aggressive in defending positions from you. They are more likely to shut the door on you than they are to give you space, but I've had some absolutely fantastic races. I mean, this one here, I've tended, once I got past, to sort of vanish off a little bit. I haven't really got snared in traffic too badly. But I have had races that have had four or five laps of just got stuck behind one truck. I'd overtake it. They'd throw it up the inside of the next corner. And it was brilliant. It actually really very, very good fun to go racing with these. They do tend to get a little bit spread out uh, around here. Again, is something you see with the actual actual trucks area that does get yeah quite quite a bit spread out um which is from a game point of view perhaps a little bit of a shame that is all sorts of locked up and sideways going on there but yeah he's a little bit of a shame i'd like to see closer closer packs um while i understand you know remote sport that's not in any i'd say in any class often lots of different sorts of motorsports you do tend to get this a little bit more spread out uh, in fact the top three here are relatively close um, you don't always see that I always like the more exciting races, naturally, uh, so I would like to see them a little bit closer. Oh, we're going to have a really big run here. Come on, truck. It's going to be a big run. It won't be enough to do anything more. Uh, but yeah, they're good to race against. They put up a good fight. As I said, this is on, on expert difficulty. They are a pretty decent competition. At one track... What track was I driving? There's one track I was driving. It might just be because I was more experienced at that circuit. They were a little bit straightforward, even on the expert difficulty, and I'm not that massively experienced. Uh, with the game, but yeah, it's pretty good fun. Career mode uh, is also not too bad. I will say the license tests to go through is it's just a bit of a time sap, and it's not you spend a lot of time loading to do a tiny little section that's not massively difficult. A lot of them are a little bit similar to previous ones. It's 
yeah, it's, it's a little bit long for what it is. Doesn't really tell you too much. It kind of feels like a, you'll want to skip it, but you can't get into the career mode until you've done it. So the license test sucks a little bit. Uh, you then you can choose to do the World Series or you can choose to do the, the European Series. I just selected the European one. Uh, you have a calendar to go through uh, for... Uh, the various events. Now, you actually sign with teams. Sometimes you sign for a weekend. Sometimes you sign for an entire season. Uh, you're going to have to manage your... Oh, I haven't got season contracts. I don't need a team on at the moment. Uh, a weekend one, sorry. Uh, you'll have to manage your truck. You'll have to spend money on upgrades. You'll have to spend money repairing bits and pieces if you end up breaking it. And the team... One of the interesting things I like about this with the contracts is the teams expect you to have a... Uh, profit they expect to be able to make money so you get money for winning the, or for, for competing in the races uh, that goes into like a pool and you can use that to upgrade your truck and to repair bits but the team expects to make a profit at the end of the contract so if you don't have enough money at the end to pay to the team for the profit they'll be unhappy with you and I kind of like that sort of little bit little bit of financial it's not crazy crazy mad in depth levels but it is quite um yeah, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting to have that little bit of a demand. We're going to go for... Uh, let's go race around. I haven't driven Winton yet on this game, so this could only go really badly for me. Uh, we're going to go... We'll go four laps. I don't know how long we're going to be. Uh, we'll, stick it, we'll stick with the driver now. Uh, I'm going for the World Series because these trucks have got massive rear wings on them. Well, this particular one I just happened to load in has a massive rear... This has got the proper uh, Pikes Peak truck wing going on the back. The one that you see in... Forza on the Iron Knight and the tank pool. Uh, it's fantastically balmy. Are we going to show one of our trucks? I think the six is... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now that... That is a proper wing going on right there. As I said, these drive very similar along the lines to the, the European ones. Just some different makes involved along the way. And one team has a truck with a massive wing going on, which is always... Always a bonus. There's like a pace truck for this series, but never mind. Uh, yeah, how well will I know this circuit from having only watched V8 supercars around here, having never driven it? This should be interesting, shall we say. Let's immediately get up to seventh. There's some banging of doors. I mean, you saw in that previous race, again, to go back to the, the AI, you saw in that previous race, uh, the AIs make mistakes. The AIs will will make mistakes, they will crash, they will bump into each other, not forced by the player. One of the things I hate, I say hate, but one of the things I dislike about some racing games, you get this, where yes, the AIs will occasionally, you know, have issues on their own, but 90% of the time it has to have been because a player made them do something stupid. You know, a player has to be involved for there to ever be any shenanigans. Here, not the case. Here, not the case. I have actually had one race where... I was starting at the, it was actually at the Nürburgring uh, circuit, so we're coming down towards turn one, I went to the outside of that first hairpin and was trying to skate around as many vehicles and stay out of trouble, which I, I just about managed to do. Uh, what happened on the inside of the circuit though was a truck hit another one, the truck in second hit the leader, they, the leader got spun around and blocked the entire track and everyone got stuck. I had nothing to do with it, I was actually out wide, I'd outbreak myself a little bit, I was on the runoff area, miles away from everybody, and they had just got into trouble on their own. You'll see trucks spin out on their own, you see trucks make... It's not like some of the old grid games that used to do it, where it would be every race half the field would crash out, but you'll get these different occurrences, you'll get these different things taking place. And I like that. I want some variety in my races. I think worse than AIs driving around on rails. I think worse than AIs that just can't overtake each other. Uh, they will battle. I mean, you can kind of see the battling going on here. Oh, that was a little... Uh, yeah, I definitely deserved a warning for that one. That was a little bit of a dive bomb. Didn't quite intend on doing that much. Uh, we're clonking across the curb there. Oh, oh, speaking of AIs, is that they do sometimes get stuck on the back of you. They do occasionally... If they get sort of stuck alongside you, they can kind of push you sideways. It's a little bit awkward at times. Uh, it's something just to watch out for that they can they can do. Unfortunately, also, as much as I love the interior cameras, you do sometimes have all the gauges over where the rear view camera is, which is a little bit of a pain on some of the trucks. The first truck we drove was much better for the... That's because the rear view camera placement or whatever, but uh, just something to watch out for. Uh, so we'll have to be looking back with the click of the right stick. Oh, almost. Almost thought about having a look around. So, anyways, as we go, go with this. Conclusions for this game. Uh, I'm actually way more I'm way more impressed with this than I expected it to be. I, I, I went into it, not, I say not, not quite sure what to expect from it, but I didn't expect this level of 
depth with the truck. I'm glad, as I said, I'm very, very glad they've got all this brake management uh, going on. But yeah, I didn't necessarily expect this this level of depth. The driving physics are, you know, really good with these. Really good to drive. I will say collisions between trucks are perhaps not the best. Uh, you do kind of almost ping off. You don't really get much sense of any contact between the, the trucks, and you'd perhaps expect a little more with five-ton trucks crashing into one another. Uh, but yeah, like that, for example, it just doesn't really feel like much. It feels like you've got two remote control cars hitting into one another rather than some trucks crashing. Uh, you'll get away with uh, contact with, like, brushing alongside vehicles. And uh, some, of the, some of the lighter contacts I can perhaps understand, but yeah, if you have big hits, it doesn't it never really quite feel like massive hits. And I have seen a couple of slightly wonky hitboxes going on from from AI truck on AI truck action. But uh, yeah, I am actually very, very impressed with the game. The other concern I might have with this one uh, is I say, a little bit of longevity. Uh, the career mode, while some interesting aspects, you know, there's not much in the way of difference between the trucks. There's not much in the way of, yeah, you'll go to different teams, you'll upgrade parts a little bit along the way, but you're still going to be racing around the same circuits. I've, not, I've been forgetting to do brakes because I've been busy in the, in the actual battle with this particular truck. Uh, yeah, longevity might be a, a little bit of a concern. I like that that truck there just gave me a little bit of space. I then proceeded to take all of it in a bit too much and crashed into him. Uh, that's not the way to uh, repay the truck that was actually half sensible. Do I want to go? No, probably not. To turbo kick in. Uh, <laughs> sixth is really... You don't really ever want to... Well, say, there's a couple of places where it might help. I'm more a fan of just leave it in seventh. I might want to here, though. Can I keep the turbo spooled a little bit? Come on, punch out of that corner. This has actually been a great race. I mean, this is a race for seventh against an AI truck. Properly good fun. But, uh, yeah, lo lo longevity might be a little bit of a concern. You might get a little bit bored after a couple of seasons, although I have really enjoyed the challenge of driving these around. Uh, multiplayer, I was going to have a go with this morning and couldn't find any games, despite the fact that it is now out. Uh, so, I don't know what it's like on consoles. I am playing this on PC. I have had a go with console. I had a go with PS4 version. Um, but in terms of multiplayer, no idea. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Across the curb we go. Is it, is the AI... Oh, that's actually some... I was, about to, I was about to praise you on your defending, and now you're driving like you're drunk. Um, okay, I've not seen the AI do that before. Drunken truck. That's scary. Oh, I'm going to clonk that. Yeah, I'll take a warning. You'll get three. Oh, you'll get three warnings uh, for clonking the markers before you get a penalty. Uh, I've got just pushed around. I cannot get past this truck. I don't know who it is who's driving it, but they are putting up a damn good fight in that. And I'm going to be stuck on the outside. Am I? No, I am actually clear this time. Thank God for that. Um, oh, that's a big bounce. Yeah, if you get it bouncing across a curb, it's really easy just to keep. Sliding the damn thing across. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh oh, I'm across the circuit. Don't tell me off game. I didn't quite mean to. Oh, and there's been some argy bargy up ahead. Where are you going to come back on? Oh, don't lo let me lose both those places. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that turbo going. Hey, <laughs> we are past. I'll take that on the final. I've a gifted, a gifted sixth position. And the leader's vanishing off into the distance. Yeah, I, I'm actually having a really good time with this game. So, as far as would I recommend this one? Yeah, I would. It's something it's something different. There's more stuff to worry about. There's perhaps more to it than you might have initially expected. Yes, it's on a series that you've probably never heard of. You may never have watched. You may have vaguely seen the vehicles, but you're unlikely to know, you know, much of what's going on. But it is good fun. It is good fun. It's a different kind of challenge. And credit to the AI... They are, apart from the slight drunken driving bit, uh, they are actually really good fun to race with. Like, it's a side-by-side -side race with properly, you know, overtake, be passed by them. Yeah, occasionally they do something a little bit stupid, but on the most part, on the most part, they are actually really quite good. So, there we go. That is uh, a little look at uh, the European Truck Racing Championship game. I shall end by showing some of the footage that uh, that I took from my experience of actually watching these <laughs> mad machines go racing, as it really is quite like nothing else. I would highly recommend going to one of these races. I'd love to go to like a proper... I don't think they race them in England, sadly, at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'd love to go watch the you know a, a few races of these things because they are absolutely mad. Very exciting. 
Very exciting indeed. And make a sound quite like nothing else. But uh, that's going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.